Hey, welcome back to the Fitness Five channel. So today we're looking at Lumen Tops Thor 2, version 2. And now this is an LEP flashlight. And if you've not heard of that before, it's a laser excited phosphor. Uh, basically it uses a laser emitting diode. And so what that does is it creates a flashlight that has like zero spill. And so it's going to be like a spotlight basically. All right, so what we have in this box, we have the manual, then we have the flashlight, and on this flashlight right now is the first battery tube. Now this uses the 18350 battery. And so you can see it's a, a short little battery that fits in there. And unfortunately I do not have an 18350 battery to show, to demonstrate. All right, and this comes with, you have the, the button dedicated there, and then the extension tube, this takes the 18650, which is a much more, um, I think a much more popular battery size. In fact, we'll go ahead and we'll slide this battery here from through night in there. So like I said, it's an 18650. And so this model was sent to me for review. It has both. And I know that is an option you can get where you, it comes with both the 18350 and the 18650. So you see the 18350 is going to make it a little smaller in size. It's supposed to perform the same except for the battery life uh, is significantly reduced. All right, so this flashlight has a high uh, maximum output of 350 lumens, which you're going to say that's, that's pretty dim, right? But it has a range of 1.8 kilometers. So that's just over one mile. If you look at the lens, you're going to immediately be able to tell this is not an ordinary flashlight. So what it does is basically it has a laser, it goes through there, it hits this phosphorus, something, and it goes through and it basically creates a white laser. Now a white laser then goes through a huge convex lens. Let's screw that and show you. And I don't want to touch the inside, so I wanted to wash my fingerprints off. All right, I'm just like this. So you can see that's a huge convex lens there. And what that does is it makes it where it can project up to, up to a mile, basically. All right, screw this back on here. All right, so along the ring, around here you'll notice it has these basically glow-in-the-dark little uh, kind of vial. These are not tritium. I know the tritium looks very similar to that, uh, but these actually have to be charged. And so basically you have to turn on the flashlight um, and that actually will make these, then in the dark, they'll, they'll glow. Then also it has a ring. You see this on the inside, kind of like a, uh, a light bluish, greenish color. That also is a glow-in-the-dark ring right there. So the body of this one is an, it's an aluminum body. It's been anodized black. Uh, this little golden ring here on the outside, it can be removed or replaced. I noticed on their website, they had uh, some luminous rings that could replace this golden one. And also you'll notice like a O-ring right here. That's actually not for waterproofing. That's just to make sure that the ring doesn't fall off whenever you're changing batteries. And why I say changing batteries is something you may have noticed. There is not a charging port. So this flashlight does not come with a charging port. Right here you have the little lan lanyard, lanyard a hole right there. You have the button on the back. And you have this basically this ring on the back that constantly changes colors. Turn off the light. Did you see that? All right, so you can see it's going for like red to purple and green and stuff. And that cannot be turned off. Uh, the only way to turn that off is to slightly unscrew the back, the battery, and then that's the only way to turn it off. And so that's kind of awkward that that's the only way to turn that off is basically by unscrewing that. Otherwise, it is on all the time until you turn on the flashlight. All right, so like I said, this flashlight only has 350 lumens, but it has a, a range of up to basically one mile, 1.8 kilometers. Um, it's not very practical for in the house, 
Okay, so you see right here, I mean, you can tell it's basically, it's, like I said, like it's like a laser. Um, and so it's a small little dot, basically. And so if the room was dark and you're searching for something, this is not the flashlight for it. Uh, this is not for short distances. It's intended for long distances of like 200 yards or more. Um, it's really fun to play with because in the dark, it looks like a, like a lightsaber or something. Uh, you see, it's like it's blue. I don't know, like basically blue light coming out of it. And so it's pretty cool outside in the dark. But it's more for like a spotlight for searching in the distance. It has a high, uh, like I said, already 350. It has a low of 45 lumens. And then if you double click, you get into a strobe. Which I'm not sure why you want a strobe for this flashlight. All right, so really simple. Um, a really interesting flashlight. And so it's also IPX8. And so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test that out real quick. And so once again, we're gonna make sure everything is nice and tight after opening it up. All right, and let's toss it in, grab some water. Turn this on. Turn it on, turn it off a couple times. All right, we're just gonna hold it in there, just that, not very long. Dry it off and we'll see if we can see any water has gotten in. All right, so underneath the lens, it looks dry. See in there, let's check the battery compartment. Same thing, the battery compartment looks dry. So something else that I wanted to mention about the 18650 battery, um, this flashlight did not come with, with, a, with a battery. Okay, so it came, it may just be because they sent me a review model, I'm not sure. Um, but this flashlight did not come with a battery, and so I had to get a battery from a different flashlight. And so the 18650 batteries, there are some chargers for them. Um, in fact, I'll be reviewing one here before long. But you can also get batteries like this from Nightcore, where it comes with like a USB uh, port built into it for charging it. And that'd be quite simple, where basically you just unscrew the, the tail cap here, and then you would charge up your flashlight, uh, charge up your uh, battery directly. So that's just a good option, I think, for a flashlight like this that does not have a built-in charging port, which that's one, <clears throat> one very regrettable thing, I think, is that it does not have that charging port. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go outside, and I'll let you see how this shines in the dark, how far it throws, and then we'll be right back in. All right, so you can see what it looks like in the dark. It's a luminous in the back light. Right, so that's the brightest. That's a dim one. And it goes to strobe. All right. Place up. You see it illuminates the building way out there. You see the trees next to it. All right, so that was the, the brightness test. So hopefully that was hopefully that was visible. It's kind of hard to see it um, being so distant out there. The camera does not want to really pick it up as well. All right, so this flashlight costs around $200. Um, I'll include a link to this in the description. And so let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you've actually ever used or heard of an LEP flashlight before. Um, I, I, for one, I was quite impressed uh, by its performance. And the way that it uh, shines so far out, basically, it's, it was pretty cool. So let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.